Okay, hi everybody, how's it going? Yeah, um, I got a request to do this tutorial over because it's been almost a year and that was back when I was first learning the song. So, I'm, I know the song now and I've been playing it for a while and it's been a while since I played it, but we're gonna work out this tutorial. This is Gentleman, this is Gentleman Don't by Gabe Bondock. So, first thing is, he starts it out here at the D formation, D bar formation. I'm going to teach you the same way, but I'm going to teach you it up here. Yeah. So it starts out with a D chord, basic D triad, which is, yeah. And you take the middle finger off. So it sounds like, yeah. And you play the last three strings, and then you strum the whole thing. So it's going to sound like, that's how it sounds. Playing the lap, and then you hammer on. Yeah. So that's your first. That's the first part of the intro. It goes. Next thing you do is you take your pinky and put it on the fifth fret, and you play that after you play the first D chord. So you go. That's how. That's how this next part. Goes. Next part is just a bar over the second fret, and you just pay, play the bottom four strings in any way you want. You can go, or I normally do want the first. You play the first two separate, and then you play the bottom two together. So it's so all together that would be. Next part. Open A, one, two. So all together that would sound. And then you flow into the B minor chord. It's actually I normally play a B minor seven, which is the same thing as a B minor except uh, the fingers are moved up and it gives you an, a more open sound rather than the B minor. Gabe, Gabe most likely will probably use the B minor 7 chord. So, you're playing, you go 0, 1, 2, and you flow right into that B minor chord. You can just go and just hit it. Or you can go, you can hammer on. Which is just, you keep your finger bar there and you hammer on to the notes that are there. If you need to know any of the chords, I will put all the chords and the and the diagrams in the sidebar so you can see so you can see the tabs on the chords okay so you go B minor and then you just move this down twice which is B minor 7 B flat minor 7 and A minor 7 which the finger that you use to bar you just move it off you don't need it so what you have now is okay next part is after you do this you are the A minor you play on the, on the B string you play the third fret and then you play the D again so It's a D, but you just take off the middle finger. So, and you play the same note again. So, let me move it a little bit closer so you can see this. Okay, that should be better. And you play the same note again. So your next chord is going to be a G, but this is the way, it's just going to be G, but you just put your, you just put your, put your b finger on the bass note, the G bass note, and which your, 
index finger or whatever, whichever one of the four fingers. I normally do the the index finger and then the middle finger because it makes it easier to switch into the next chord. You have your thumb on the G. Your index finger is gonna do this. Let me get in a better. Your next finger is gonna go zero on the B, zero, two, three. So it's gonna be while you're hitting the G bass note. So it's gonna be or just hit the G bass note once and go. Yeah. So that's so it'll be. And your next note. Your next chord is going to be a D over F sharp, which is, you, you can just strum that whole thing through. I'll have, I'll have all the tabs in the, in the description over there so you can see this. And your final chord of the verse and the intro is a bar on the two like the other chord, except your pinky holds on the fifth fret will hold the last two strings and the first two strings will be held by the by the um, pointer finger so you'd be only playing the bottom four strings so and that's that's how the the chorus the that's how the verse and the intro ends so all together this would look like this that's how the that's how the intro and the verse goes see now when now when you get to the chorus there's a pre-chorus that goes into the chorus which basically consists of four notes it's just two four five six this is all on the a this is all on the a string you start after you do this you go straight into it and it's one, two, three, four. It's like that. And you flow that into your next chord. So your your last chord would be two, four, five, six, and then you go into. It. So now your first now this is the chorus. Your first chord for the chorus is seven five seven seven. I'll put this in the in the description there. This might make it better to see. Seven, seven here with five, seven, seven. This is the best. This is the best and easiest way to do it for movement. You put your um um middle middle pointer ring pinky. It looks just like that. And then go, you start. The strumming for that is you pick all four of them. I think I'm a little bit off. Too. So you 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 kick all of them, pick all four, hit the bottom three, and you slap down. That's what I normally do. So you go better, so you can see. So you just do yeah. pluck all four, three, slap down. Thumb three. You got it? Plug off four. Bottom three. Slap. Top three. Top and then bottom three. So one more time. Yeah. And that's the first quarter. Um, yeah. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna make a second make a second um tutorial video for this so thank you guys for watching and watch the second one